everybody, it's White Wolf M here, and welcome to another episode of Weird Craft. That's a creeper. Oh, oh, oh dear. In the last episode, you guys saw me make this marvellous, fantastic house. There we go. Ah! So this is my marvellous, wonderful, fantastic house. So, basically today, what I wanted to do is I thought it'd be fun if we decorated this house and then find a location for the zoo. So I just basically shoved all my stuff down here from the two locations. I'm trying to find my fish. Where are my fish? There are my fish. I need a fish. We do need to organize this room properly as well, but we can get around to that. So first off, what I want to do is I actually want to make some freaking booties. There we go. So now we have full armor. We look less like Simon Cowell now, which is a good time. So let's have a look what decoration mods we have. Balls. Right, okay, so we're gonna ignore the fact that I just accidentally closed off Minecraft. Are you a double chester? Yep, double chester. No! Oh, thank God. All right, so we've got, at least we've got that blast protect thing on. What's this? Bamboo. I suppose I'll collect this together. You never know when we're going to need some bamboo. Right, well, let's go back to Nick's real fast and see what I have left there. Um, but basically, yeah, I just wanted to do some little biddly boos. That was it. I was looking for um, the different mods, like decorative mods, wasn't I? Oh no, I didn't take my stuff. Okay, let's just... I expect that to still be my room whenever I need to stay over here. And it's night time already. Ah, he's got a trumpet! Go away, Double Chester, nobody likes you. Right, well, lightning hit something and that is terrifying. Wonderful, just what I wanted. This would be a super cute bedroom. Just this little room here. So it kind of looks like the only furniture um, decorative kind of mod that we have is the Mr. Crayfish mod and the Rustic Decorations mod. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll have a spruce kind of layout. I don't know how I'll make this work, having this as a middle room. If it was taller like it was meant to be, there would be this. A second layer for extra rooms and then the top room does that make sense we have plenty of rooms for example where would i put a bed i'm not going to cheat the bed in but like i can't really like put it there i could put one there i suppose that would work right it looks a bit odd though how about we work on a kitchen and a living room because that seems to make more sense in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so I've decided that the attic will be a bedroom. One of these rooms, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a sign. And I'm going to do signs to make my life a lot easier. Just so we know what we're trying to do. Uh, okay, so that will be the bedroom. I think what might be a good idea is to have this entire wall as bookshelves. I'm not, Like I said, I'm not going to cheat them in. I will get them properly. Um, I just wanted to have a look at it. That's all. I kind of really like that. I think that looks really cool.
So it's taken me an hour, but I've decided that I'm going to give myself a bed and I'm going to give myself some carpet because we can't use the chisel mod correctly. So up here, you can see we've got the grey wool and then we go upstairs and we've got some grey wool and a purple bed as always. Can you shut? Thank you. And then we go downstairs into the living room and so we've got these cute little mats they're like a weird grey colour but then we go downstairs this is where I've focused all my efforts so we've got the brown wool down here and then in here will be where we have our enchanting table is going to be in here I need to add some chests or something just something to be able to store the lapis and such that you're going to need for enchanting and obviously it's a nice big bookcase so I replicated this over on the other side I'm not quite sure what to do with this. Obviously, it's smaller and it's not like a proper bookshelf or anything. Obviously, it could be extended if it's needed, but we'll have to wait and see. And then we've got all my chests along these two walls. Got crafting tables, furnaces. Obviously, I haven't unloaded everything from these two yet, which is why that doesn't fully match. We'll get round to that in a bit. And then I gave myself some armor stands. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so that I can get tons of spruce and paper to make books and leather. Like, we'll sort that out so I'll be able to prove that I can actually get these. I just don't want to put them all in and then take them all out just because of semantics, really. But the wool and the carpet isn't as easy to get and obviously we can't do the chisel either. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and hopefully try and sleep. I'm hoping we'll be high enough that... It, the mods won't be affect like the fact that there are mobs there won't affect anything oh. there we go so our new spawn has been set thank you again nicola for allowing me to live in your house oh well this is a new little cheeky doodle that i like God, he screams for a while, doesn't he? Right, okay, so the first thing we need to look into is possibly finding like a spruce forest and probably maybe a mesa? I don't know, because I did cheatsy doodles the roof in and I want to be able to find a mesa so that we can actually, you know, have some good stuff. We also need to get some stuff for a nether portal. So let's just do we want a diamond sword? We do we do want a diamond sword. Actually, hold on. Let's make an axe. We're gonna need an axe. I think we need to clean this up honestly. We need to make a bin. We really need to make a bin. Well, that was easy enough. I don't know where I'm going to put it, though. Oh, fantastic. Oh, <laughs> that bin noise. Um, that is fantastic. Right, there we go. So now we've got everything organised down here and I feel f a million times better for it. So now we've got to find a spruce biome and a mesa biome just to even the playing field really. Right guys, so we're back. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I can't exactly remember where I was the last time that I spoke with you guys, but I really quick just wanna show you something. So we've got the cupboard under the stairs here, and we th I thought it was gonna be a really cute little Harry Potter thing, and then I realized how dark my house is, and a zombie villager spawn. So, I've trapped him in there, and I thought what could be fun 
is we could turn him into a normal villager again at some point and then we can actually have someone living under the stairs how cool would that be but yeah this is the pantry i need to make some shelves and stuff in here um so this is concrete basically to make concrete it's really really simple um and then if we go upstairs i've just put down some like spruce tables and stuff and then if i go downstairs in here I've extended it, added some shelves, we've plopped our arcane workbench there that we got on our travels and that, that is literally everything that I've done, however there's one thing that I didn't show you. I've made this ready for when we go to the nether. That's what that basically is for and I'm pretty sure that we've got enough to do that because we're going to need to get some stuff for our cloud pet to help us fly and we also will need to make some item frames let's just double check to see um oh yeah it's leather and sticks in case i didn't show you guys i've actually well look the garden's all pretty and done but over here we've actually now got a barn so we've got some piggies got some cows got some chickies and we got some sheep we haven't got any horses yet oh oh dear oh dear oh dear no sirs it was an accident no ah! why is there a chicken baby really great all my chickens hate me now up here i've made a little garden so i've got my sugar cane going to prove that i could actually make my bookshelves so uh don't worry about that and then i made a golden golden i made a diamond hoe probably a waste of time but have i ever really cared about what's a waste of time or not i think down here will plant the wheat seeds Oh, whoops, never mind, at least I didn't. And then we've got some jungle wood here with some cocoa beans, because I was lucky enough to find some cocoa beans. Oh, yay! Right, okay. Oh, dear. You're very big. You're very... No! No! Well, that was just rude, honestly. Okay, guys, so the mutated mushroom thing, apparently it's like an, a, a, a rain thing, so if it rains, it mutates, which is infuriating. And when it blows up, it blows up all your stuff. So I've had to respawn a couple of bits in because I didn't realise that that was a thing. And I'm sorry, but I'm not losing my cloud pet. You can bugger off, honestly. I ain't, I ain't losing it. Okay, so the only animals that seem to be dropping leather that are like normal Minecraft animals, I haven't tried any of the any other animals but it's horses so i've been around i've been killing a bunch of horses i've got 12 leather so far i don't think that's going to be enough for the amount of item frames i'm going to need but it's all right but on my journey i found these two little foals a little black spotty one and a little white one and i thought maybe we could make them a little like you know stall keep them together raise them and have like horse babies <laughs> So I'm really quickly just going to make that for them.
Okay, guys, there we go. I mean, it's only short, small, and simple. Well, it's only small and simple. It can be easily extended either width way or length way. Probably a bit of both, really, when they get older. But I'm going to go and get some name tags that I've got from Dungeon Crawling real fast. I'm going to name them to make sure that they don't despawn. There we go. Right, okay. So let's go and ne Oh, we need an anvil. How does one make an anvil? Also, I killed a knoll and it dropped leather. So I'm thinking that might be the best thing to use. So we need blocks of iron and some actual, like, iron thingy. Hold on, random blocks. Where's my ore? Do I have any unsmelted? No. I'm gonna go have to go on an adventure. Two, three. Oh dear. I'm in desperate need of some more stuff. Also, just realised, didn't actually make a space for anvils down here. That's probably not the best thing I could have done. Right, so the first one, he's white. Um, and what I'm thinking of is, because this is all a Panic at the Disco theme, I'm going to name him something Panic at the Disco themed anyway, so he matches the aesthetic. So one of them will be called Say Amen. And then I think, actually, they should both be off the new album. Which other one do I really like? It's difficult because I like them all! I think we'll call the other one High Hopes because a music video just dropped for that. So I think we'll do it that way. We will need to get a doggo and do more panic names. Right, so, children, which one are you going to be high? I'm going to make you High Hopes and I'm going to make you say Amen. Yes! Oh, perfect. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This is fantastic. This is This is great. Right, so let's work on decorating at last. It's only taken me how long? Right, do we have shelves? Oh, that's not how you spell shelves. Um, I don't think we do. Wow. Okay. Um, whoa! Ah! Where have you come from? Get out of my house! Right, so basically to make a coloured item frame, you just stick a bit of dye in with the frame itself. So it's got its own special little purple one in the middle there. The annoying thing is we are going to need more item frames for the totems. I don't know how the totems work. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you put them on top of a totem base. Okay, well that's not too difficult. And we've got the figure case. Can we place them? Oh my god, we can place them! Okay, okay, right, we know why I wanted all the flipping... Oh, okay, right, I need more spruce wood. only work with oak so we're gonna put the little black bunny in the middle because Luna takes pro to place and got a little bat figurine there as well yay and for now the totems will just have to go in here is that a knoll or is that a pupper what on earth's going on whoa well right um so guys, what were we doing? That was it. We were doing we were doing decorations, weren't we? And and yeah, okay. Woo! Okay, sorry about that. Um right, so let me just get back into survival because I, I panicked immediately and went straight into creative hoping that it wouldn't hit me and therefore crash me again. 
Um, what else were we doing? What else were we making? Yeah, okay, we were doing the kitchen. Right, okay, so we're gonna need, I think, a lot of iron. Oh, we need quartz. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm just going to do a load of mining. Right, guys, so I'm... I've come back, I was in the mines, but I decided what I was going to do was I was actually going to make some more, like, armour and stuff. Like, some better armour and some better weapons. This is also a very good way to level up as well, I've noticed. I feel like I've collected way more of this, um, demonic blood ore than needed. So, let's have a look what we can do with it. Oh, so it's from the Adventure Time mod. What do you need for that? Oh my god, it is so easy to make. Right, okay, so apparently it looks like the mod's broken because this is... Hold on. That is how you make the ingot. There we go. So we've got plenty of that now. So we can just get some sticks and and make a sword Ta da so we've got a demonic sword this does 20 damage and it was ridiculously easy for me to get because the mod's slightly broken um but that's fine that's cool it's it's all right to be honest i don't mind too much can we put them on on yes yes we can Right, shall we actually do the kitchen now? Two hours later. Right, okay. So, let's start off. Oh, we need quartz, didn't we? Well, no, not for that, but okay. Furnace and blocks of iron. Okay, there we go. We've now got ourselves an oven. I don't understand why you need a furnace for a fridge, but all right. Okay guys, so it seems like there's something wrong with the nether. Okay, let's just go back to crafting then. So what was it we were looking into? Washing machine. So we need to make another furnace, strangely enough. And then that. Okay, so it's not letting me have a washing machine. So let me just spawn in. Let's make five plates to put in front of here Woo! Okay, final mirror. And then that's the two bathrooms done, I'd like to say. Woo! Hold on. Shower! Shower! You can watch yourself in the shower. It's a bit creepy, but if that's what you want to do, who am I to stop you? Right, so both of those bathrooms are made now. Those in. There's a mantelpiece. Right, we can go and put this mantelpiece upstairs. I don't know how this is supposed to work. Oh. That's not quite how I wanted it to work. Are you kidding me? It goes off, no matter where you put it. Right, guys, so I think this is all that I'm going to do for now. For some reason, I've been made to go really slow across the carpet. I don't know. Either way, 
this is what we've done so far. Obviously on a different episode, we'll do the doggy stuff that's got to go here. Let me know in the comments below what I should do here. Um, the kitchen's done, as always. This is done. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember to subscribe if you can part of the warrant today. And don't forget, guys, it's nice to be nice. See you next time. Bye!